Boys and girls, somebody's tapping out my window. Now they're knocking at my door. I better go see who that is. Coming! Who's that tapping at my window? Who's that knocking at my door? Peggy's tapping at your window. Peggy's knocking at your door. So boys and girls, this is my good neighbor, Peggy. And she always has delightful things for me to eat. So I'm hoping that's what that is. I have something delicious. Yay. Okay. We have a pineapple. Hold this. Oh. We have a pineapple pound cake. Oh. And there's some extra pineapple to put on mm -hmm. it as you serve it. Oh, and wonderful. I add some wonderful Cherries. Mm, sure. All right, we have another treat for you because you're such a good neighbor. And we have a chocolate pudding pie with a graham cracker crust. Okay? So, boys, and if you look, we could also sing Who's that bringing chocolate pudding? Who's that bringing me a cake? And you would sing Peggy's <laughs> bringing chocolate pudding. Peggy's bringing, bringing me a some cake. Peggy. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, there you Thank go. you, Peggy, so okay, much. You're welcome, baby. All right, bye. Take you take care, baby. Say bye, bye. Dorothy. Bye. Well, I'm glad that Peggy told me her name, else I'd have never known who was tapping at my window and knocking at my door. Names are indicators. They tell us who you are. My name, Mr. Holder. Yeah? Your name is important to you. Your family name is very important to you. My last name, obviously, is Holder. Mr. Holder. Behind me, I've got some photographs of the Holders, my family. I call this sort of my family tree wall of portraits. And behind me is an important photograph. It's one of the only photographs of my dad's mom, my grandmother. And in the photograph, it shows the family all standing in front of the farmhouse, all barefoot in the front yard. Now, my grandmother had 10 children. Well, let me just show you the photograph. And here it is, and come on in and take a closer look. There's my grandmother. And the kid she's holding is my dad. And you said, Mr. Holder, there's only seven kids there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You said, Mr. Holder, there's only eight kids there. Well, that's because this was taken before she had my Uncle Jerry and my Uncle Wendell. My grandmother gave some pretty unusual names to her sons and daughters. My dad got lucky. He got Joseph, which is my middle name. But some of my other aunts and uncles didn't get off that easily. For example, I have an aunt. True story. Her name is Dolly Dimple. That's really her name. I know. It's wonderful. I have another aunt. Her name is Mady Bell. So if I were to clap their names, I would go Dolly Dimple, Mady Bell. Can you do it after me? My turn. Dolly Dimple, Mady Bell. Correct. One of my uncles is just named E-M. The letter E the letter M. That's it. E-M. E doesn't stand for anything. M doesn't stand for anything. That's just his initials that Grandma gave him for his name. So can you go E-M? Ready, go. Mm-hmm. Can you say E-M Mady Bell? Here we go. Good. Can you go Dolly Dimple E-M? Dolly Dimple E-M? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Those are those names. Then my uncle, John Willie. Can we all go, John Willie? Here we go. Uh-huh. So remember, we have Dolly Dimple, Mady Bell, John Willie, E-M. Good. So I'm going to give you some rhythm sentences with my family names, my aunts and my uncles that my grandmother gave to them. I'll give you some, and you'll give them back to me. So, Mady Bell, Dolly Dimple, Mady Bell, E-M. Listen again. 
Maybell, Dolly Dimple, Maybell, E-M. Ready, go. Mm-hmm. What about E-M, E-M, Maybell, Maybell. Here we go. Ready, uh. Uh-huh. Take a second, and you can either use names from my aunts and uncles, or you can choose your own aunts and uncles or names in your family. I don't know what they are, but choose two names. Could be your name, could be an aunt or an uncle or a friend or a neighbor or your mom, but choose two names. And then I want you to do one of those names at least twice. You can do it three times, but both names have to be said. You can't leave one of them out. And one of them has to be done twice. Could be done three times. I don't know what you're gonna choose. I'm gonna give you just a moment. Okay, I've got what I'm gonna do. Here we go. <gasps> hmm, I hope it worked out. If you thought the names that my grandmother gave to her children were unusual, you're gonna love this. Here's the story of a little girl whose mother gave her the name Catalina Magdalena Hoopensteiner Wallendiner Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. And I need you to help me with the end of her name. So the end of her name goes Hogan Logan Bogan was her name. And I want you to go like this. Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Like that. So it's pat, cross yourself, pat, snap, clap, one leg, the other leg. Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. I think you'll get it. Let's tell the story of Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. Well, she had a funny name, but she wasn't much to blame. Her mother gave it to her just the same, same, same. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two peculiar hairs on her head. One was black and one was red. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two eyes that were quite a sight. One looked left and the other looked right. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two holes in the bottom of her nose. One for her fingers. One for her toes, Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Logan was her name. She had two teeth inside of her mouth, one went north, one went south. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Logan was her name. She had two arms that flopped all around. When she had walked, they would drag on the ground. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had two pieces that were wide and flat, each one bigger than a bathroom mat. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Logan, Bogan was her name. She had one brain inside of her head, what it thought, what she said. Catalina, Magdalena, Steiner, Walmart, Diner, Hogan, Hogan, Bogan was her name. Some folks say that her breath smells sweet, but me, I'd rather smell her feet. Catalina, Magdalena, Hogan, Steiner, Walmart, Diner, Hogan, Hogan, Bogan was her name. If rain makes flowers sweet and clean, there ought to be a downfall, Magdalena. Catalina, Magdalena, Hoopensteiner, Wallendiner, Hogan, Hogan, Bogan, Smith was her name. So talking about names, we need to talk about nicknames. 
nickname is a shortened version of your name. For example, Chris is a nickname for Christopher. Well, when I got Dorothy, I always knew I would name her Dorothy. But for a while, I thought I would call her Dottie because Dottie is short for Dorothy, a nickname. Well, I didn't after all. But this next song is if I would have called her Dottie. As we end today's lesson about names, I want you to enjoy a song about Dottie or Dorothy. Dottie. Bye. See you next time. Say bye, Dorothy. Go. Mr. Holder had a dog, and Dottie was her name. O D O T T Y D O T T Y D O T T Y, and Dottie was her name. O. Mr. Holder had a dog, and Dottie was her name. O O T T Y O T T Y O T T Y, and Dottie was her. Older had a dog, and Dottie was a name. Oh, T T Y, T T Y, T T Y, and Dottie was her name. Oh, Mr. Older had a dog, and Dottie was a name. Oh, T Y, T Y. T.Y. and Dottie was her name-o. Mr. Holder had a dog and Dottie was her name-o. Why? 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 And Dottie was her name-o. Mr. Holder had a dog and Dottie was her name-o. And Dottie was her name, O D O T T Y D O T T Y D O T T Y, and Dottie was her name, O. Come.